in Devil's Advocate here. What do you think you'd say if uh, you die one day, you get to the pearly gates, and God says, "Sorry, Alan, you got it <laughs> wrong, mate. You just a you just a regular guy." Just, but, well, the, well, you the, feel like a regular guy. I already guy, feel like right? I'm a regular guy. So, <laughs> but yeah, you know what That's, I mean. Yeah. No, that would not be a That's very problem. much big surprise to me. In in some ways, I'd probably feel a little relieved. Um, but but there is no pearly gates, by the way. Anyway, but. Uh, um, you know, I know the way God works, and the way God works is this. If you have a loving intention and you speak the truth and act truthfully in every area of your life and you want and desire with your heart to love everyone around you and the environment. And based God, on that intention. Based yeah. on based that on intention, intention. Then whatever false beliefs you may have are almost, um, almost don't matter to God as much as those other things that I've just mentioned. Okay. Does that make sense? But I don't think either of us would be personally like, um, well, we both just want to go, well, how did I get that wrong? Okay. That's Let all, me I, figure that's all I'd want to know. You know, that's all I'd want to know. And he'd say, come into my projection room. I'll, 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 show, you. I'll show you where it all went wrong. All the times you got this wrong. Yeah. But and, that would be okay <clears throat> in, in a sense, yeah. you know. In, in fact, I'd, I'd sort of view that as a really good thing. To be honest, um, in a lot of ways, when I what I mean by that is that if we are wrong, mm. and it can be proven that you are, then I'm perfectly happy to accept yeah. any proof that we are. You wouldn't feel like you wasted any time. Oh no, because I'll keep doing exactly what I'm doing. Mm. In, in some ways, I'd probably do it more successfully because I, I would most people faster, would no longer yeah. worry about who I am we when they listen. Need to persist with the Jesus thing. Yeah, that's yes. right. In some ways, oh, cool. it'd probably work Take out. Take that out of the PowerPoint, right, you know. Right, yeah. <laughs> in some ways, it'd probably work out better, This has right? always been the problematic slide. <laughs> yeah, which yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for me, it's like, no, I know my intentions are good and I know they're loving and I know my intention is to be truthful and honest at all and times. And to seek the truth. We always want to always seek the truth, seek both truth. of us. And so, so I feel and I know God well enough to know that God rewards that. Okay. So... So no matter what mistakes I may make, they as long as they're not intentional, in other words, they're not me intentionally trying to do something wrong. Or trying to avoid something within myself in order to, mm. to hold on to a belief. Or, or even intentionally trying to be manipulative or yeah. evil. Mm. Um, then anything that I do, if the intention is well-directed and loving, is going to be rewarded. And I know that God does and God's laws do reward good intention. So, so I'm very confident that whether I pass and I'm told that I'm just a normal bloke, mm. and by the way, I already believe I'm just a normal bloke. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why we came here is to share with everybody that everyone's just a normal bloke or a normal woman mm. and, and that you, we all have the capacity to do anything once we discover the laws and the principles involved. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why we came here. So if somebody told me, oh, you're just a normal bloke, I'd say, yes, I am. And I, and I actually say that every, every time. interview, generally, yeah. when I'm asked about myself. But if they're saying, you're not Jesus and you're, on, you're only Alan John Miller, I'm going, what do you mean only Alan John Miller? Alan John Miller is just as good as Jesus. He was a legend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 and from God's perspective, I, I'm a son of God just like Jesus is a son of God if I'm not Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so what do you mean only? Well, there's a problem here. You know, what's going on? <laughs> and I'd, I'd be wanting to know answers about that question as yeah, to why yeah. it's only. Um, okay, so that's really interesting. So, so you basically, it sounds to me like you see it living in accordance with your own self-understanding is priority number one. And being Jesus is like some far priority. It's almost cosmetic. It's, it's, isn't that how it feels for you? Like, isn't being Julian like... You don't think every, you don't wake up every day and go, okay, I'm, I'm Julian. Julian. <laughs> you yeah. go, what do I want today? What so, am I going to do today? What do I? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah, but it's, I mean, comparatively easy for me to just tell people I'm Julian. I guess that's the difference between us. Well, well, if I am Jesus, it should be comparatively easy for me to tell people I'm Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah, but as we were discuss discussing before, no yeah. one likes to be disliked or no one yeah. wants to be thought of exactly. as a exactly. crackpot. Or so, exactly. But so, eventually, but when, it, when, it's when I fully accepted my emotions and hmm. um, what I expect is, it is it going to be very be easy. easy for me to say, yeah, I'm Jesus, so what? Like, and just not care what they think or just understand where they're coming from? Well, I understand where people are coming from. It makes sense to me that, like, like I know, I, I know my life in the first century and I know my life in the spirit world and I understand why some people may um, 
And I know the fact that I've had a large effect in history. Um, so I understand that some people may think that I'm not the person I'm claiming to be. Mm. But maybe every one of those persons might get to the pearly gates, as you mentioned, mm. and say, and be surprised to find out that actually the man you thought wasn't Jesus, he actually is. Mm. That's interesting. Let's try to add.